In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you how to use two tools in the Regional Adjustment section. The first is the Gradient Mask. The second is the Radial Filter. So we're in our Adjustment button and with a picture loaded here, I'm going to click on Regional Adjustment Tools. We'll be looking at the two on the right side. We'll start with the tab that says Gradient Mask. It's the square, second one from the right. I'll click on that and now I find I can make a mask. In fact, I can make up to five masks. So I don't have to touch anything to create the first one. I just take my mouse. It'll turn into a plus sign and then I can hold the, the left mouse button down, click and drag. And the farther I drag, the more gradual the mask will be. I can rotate the mask any way I want. I can also decide if I want to to move it once I've placed it there. We'll place it about here and if I click here I'll, it'll be a hand. I can control the area that's masked and if I want to change the degree once it's in place the hand will be on the line and I can tighten it up or loosen it however I'd like. So what I'd like to do is maybe take this area here and mask it. So when I click off it, it looks like nothing happened, but there is a mask there. So let's look at the temperature. I'm going to change a little bit on this one. And you notice now the water is getting bluer. So I modified my mask to change the color of the water. Even after it's in place, I can move it to change it. Or I can tighten it up or loosen it. Let's do another mask. I'm going to create on the down arrow and click on New. Now if I click again, now I've got a different color representing this mask. And let's go up like about here from the bottom. All right, and when I click off, now whatever I do, my all of my controls here under the mask have changed to default. And so each one has its own separate set of controls. I think I'll I'll take the temperature and go this way. We'll make the beach a little browner as we made the the sea a little bluer. So if we take and look at the before and after, let's go sideways on this one. There is the original picture and here is one with just two masks applied. So it's an interesting way in which you can apply this gradient. Now we've just used a couple of the options up here. You can use anything you see here to impact part of the image where you're applying this regional adjustment tool, this gradient mask. Another way in which I sometimes use a gradient mask is to make it look like I have additional light coming into my setting. So I'm going to, to take my cursor with all the other masks removed and take and drag this way. And I want it to look like I have light coming in from this corner. So with the mask selected there, I'm going to change my exposure a little bit up. You see I'm lightening it up from that corner or I can actually take the brightness up as well. And I have almost made it look like I have another light source coming in because I've added some more light just on this corner. And you can do that with again with more than one mask. I'll add another one. We'll type new here and maybe I want to lighten up this area just a little bit. It starts with its own controls, but then I can go and touch on the exposure a little bit and I'm lightening up that. If I want it a little less tight, take the hand and move it. And now we're adding a little more light over here. And all I've done is using a pair of gradient masks to accomplish something slightly different in this particular example. We're going to use the same picture to illustrate the last tool that we're covering on the right, which is my radial filter. I'll click on this and like a mask, I can have five of them. My cur cursor turns to the same plus and here I can draw a circle or an oval. I can move it wherever I like. And here we have a radial filter and we can change the features of it. When I move off the screen, you don't see what it's doing. But let's try it. one with brightness. Now everything's brighter if except his head, where I can reverse it, where he is slightly light, lighter and the area around him is darker. And I can take and move this and focus on a different part of his face or a different part of the picture. 
I can change it when I cl click off of it. I'm going to see the impact of the element that I've changed, my brightness control. And so that's just a little way to change that. A little more interesting. Let's do a before and after here. There's a before and there's the after. So the after picture has a little more contrast, a little more character. Let's go side by side. You can see perhaps better here. And here is the after and there is the before. So you can change this as much as you want. You can actually take the same picture and apply two filters. I'll go back to my gradient. Let's add a, another gradient here. And on this one, it has independent controls. OK, so let's kick the brightness up a little bit. And we'll, we'll move it just a little more. And now we've been able to change a couple of different things in the same picture using the gradient mask and the radial filter. And if you want to remove any that you've put on the screen, you just go to the appropriate tab and click on the garbage can and that will remove whatever elements you have selected there. We hope you found this useful as you begin to experiment with some of the regional adjustments you can make in PhotoDirector 365.